Guys, today I have something really exciting to share with you. This is a new beast of electric scooter. I've been testing the last several months multiple very compelling electric scooter options with amazing performance and designs at very low good prices. I'm always on lookout for the ultimate electric scooter. For me, I want to have the lightest possible setup, able to fold and unfold the scooter and load in the back of the car, but have as much as possible power. Nami is still my favorite scooter for off-roading, the suspension is insane and power delivery, but unfortunately it's not compact. It's super heavy, about 110 pounds, you can't get this much power in a smaller frame and have a battery that's compact, very small and sustain these high discharge levels and over time it will get crushed and destroyed and will not survive this level of loads. But today I think I have good news for you. I hope we're getting closer to that level, raising the bar, and this is super exciting. Let's unpack this new scooter and go over the specs, design, features, parts, quality, power delivery, which is very important, weight, size, price, and where the scooter is positioned on the market. So it's fast and easier. We have here a nice display, and it says uh, Roadrunner nut brakes, this looks super cool. Open this up, the fender behind, all packed so well. And let's see here, have a brochure. Let's take the scooter out so we can see how it looks like. Design. We have good attention to details, everything is well visually balanced, good symmetry, smooth lines and futuristic frame design. No sharp edges here, good quality rubber, no cheap plastics anywhere. Round edges, high quality components and nice branding logo, but covered by this light here. Compact parts, good integration and well chosen colors. I have here the gray option and you can choose blue. Frame, solid, no rattle, very strong, elongated here in the front and good visual transitions. Deck width, 8.5 inches, length 20 inches and 26.5 with the footrest. Look how clean it is, very nicely organized, only one wire, battery formation right here. Super clean, this is really nice. Look in front, wires all well organized and uh, the edge, it's recessed and you have even here rubber on this side. You have big here, very thick uh, gaskets inside and this is the top part that also is sticky and overlaps. Very nicely done guys. There's no movement, it covers perfectly, the water won't get it so easily. One hinge, there's no rattle like other scooters that I review that will bother. That's a good idea there. The first one that I tried it, but it moves here when I stand on it, perfectly, you know, closed. And uh, there's not much movement here, it's solid. One uh, piece of uh, CNC aluminum, beautifully done, guys. Very nicely done. I wish a bother follows the same steps. Let's take the battery out and let me show you guys how this uh, battery looks like. The connector has this ring and helps disconnect the battery so easily and fast. The battery has this foldable handle that allows you to grab the whole thing and comfortably remove it from the frame. 
Very nice executed case, no sharp edges, well sealed, beautiful shape. We have LG cells inside, the pen controls covered by the plate, nothing loose, very clean, well done. We have two outside charging ports and you can charge this pack outside of the scooter frame. You can swap the battery in under 10 seconds. The whole process is so fast and easy. Suspension, front and rear coil hydraulic shocks with adjustability, out of the box with my weight, perfectly and comfortably balanced. For long range rides, this is very comfortable. Speed. I'm always very cautious testing all the scooters, brand new out of the box, anything can go wrong in a second. I don't have here a steel dampener, I'm gradually accelerating and surprisingly, this scooter is super stable. I'm reaching here 48 miles an hour and this is nuts. If the road is perfectly smooth, you don't need a steel dampener, but let's say if you ride in the evening, if you hit a pothole at high speeds that you don't see, a steel dampener will save you. Acceleration. It is crazy. It is very similar to Nami Burn E. It spins the tires from the start in dual option first speed. And third speed it is insane. It is really quick. Your active brake light, very bright. I don't have the side lights right here, and a very compact, very small light in the front, but it is powerful. Let me show you in front here. It's uh, not completely dark here, so it's a narrow path, but throws far. So I assume if you're in a complete dark environment, it will be so much brighter. And what I like here, this is the horn pretty loud and the turning signals so when the lights are on look at this it blinks on the side and in the back finally turning signals are actually you know properly done this increases visibility so much and let me show you when you turn the lights off this is how it looks like in the daytime and it's extremely bright love this range and a maximum torque speed dual mode in the city i was able to cover 26.2 miles on flats riding with aggressive acceleration and hard braking super fun ride in the city a lot of stops at the red lights a lot of acceleration so i feel like this test it's not really accurate because it's also about 40 degrees so it's pretty cold tomorrow is gonna get warmer i'll try to go on a highway and go between new york and new jersey and see how much i can get uh, in range without stopping. I went to New Jersey yesterday and I was able to cover 46 miles in range on a second speed single motor option. My weight was 245 pounds and temperatures between 40 to 45 degrees. In the warmer conditions expect 30 to 40 percent more range. In two days I covered close to 90 miles, a record for any EV I tested so far in this cold weather and it was so much fun testing this model. This is another cool feature that I like here. I have my big design mount here, which is amazing. And uh, look at the screen, it goes up. You have this rubber lid here, insert the key, put this back down, press the button right, and the scooter comes alive. Lights, turning signals, horn, which is pretty loud. This construction here, it's really cool. Fun throttle, and we have this hook, uh, very nicely CNC hook, so you can connect to the frame. Everything very well thought through. The only thing that would change here, this key, and I like how this uh, closes right here under, and you drop it. Really clean design, really different compared to all the scooters I uh, tried so far. So it's more, you know, angled this way. So I have more room here. And let's say when you turn it, it comes down enough so you can see the screen very nicely because you're standing, so you have more upper position and you can see all the information perfectly. But I feel like somebody who's shorter it would be nice to go down maybe one more quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch lower, so you can adjust to say 
if it glares for the sun, if there's reflection or glare from the sun, so you can see it better. Second and third speed, so we have here three speeds, and then we have single dual, and we have Bluetooth connection for an app. And sunlight, it's so easy to read, I really like the screen. The parts are very good quality, very nicely you know, organized and done. I like everything I see here, except this little mess here of the wires. This is the mount for the light, I'll show you in a moment. I use that light for all EVs that I have and it's fantastic. Uh, mounts nicely and holds the, the light properly, but let me show you here with this wiring. So this piece was not here, I added that and then I was thinking, okay, you know, organizing here, I can make it look nicer, so I can add more of this stuff and make it uh, look clean and nice like it's here. But then I add extra weight. It's not much, but still, why add extra stuff and extra weight? So the cables for the brakes, you can't do anything about that, so two of them will stick out no matter what. But all the rest of the cables, why you're making a, such a cool scooter? Why not create a custom part so it integrates all of this with this so there's only one cable coming from here there and then one cable coming from there all the way inside the frame so you have only two cables sticking out and this part it is also integrated either here one compact piece with everything all the consoles and it's close to the handlebar so you can get easy access uh, here look you have like four wires coming down why not make one wire that goes down it looks so much cleaner and the grips, they're good, they're not moving, but uh, I would go for more high-end grips. They're only 20, 25 bucks, and if you buy in bulk, right, it'll be so much cheaper, and will match the not nice brakes and the rest. Look how nicely this frame is done. And uh, I spoke with so many riders, and they're impressed with the scooter, and they did not agree with me, but I feel like here, having LED lights under, and at night time just turn this on and uh, have like a blue or maybe red yellow light uh, you know on here would be so cool I think this will be a nice touch so the reason I want to remove this light and it's a very easy process and it'll look much uh, sexier here in the front because I don't want to consume the battery energy so I think this can be removed and plug here and I'm gonna use I have this light here and this is magic shine mountaineer R6500S. This thing outputs over 6,000 lumens when all five are engaged. It's just super bright. It just blinds you. It's insane power and in mid settings, which still outputs over, I think, three or 4,000 lumens, I still get over a week and a half of use. But there's nothing wrong with this light. It's very powerful. It's very good. It just has this uh, dark blue tint. So I would like to have uh, like bright white to have more uh, you know visibility, more contrast. But this light I think should be not here, maybe slightly higher here, or I would put it right here. So when you have this intensity here, when it's too low and it hits the ground in the front, it's just not wide enough. Having it up there will be much wider spill and will cover more surface. Uh, that's one thing and covers here the logo which is you know it's a nice uh, cool logo here so I would like to have that exposed here and I have a full review on the channel this thing it's a monster it is uh, expensive light but it will last you a lifetime and in the nighttime uh, it's like uh, riding in the daytime it's super bright and it's not connected here because I use this battery uh, let me show you guys just pull it's a magnetic Apple like uh, connector I use this uh, to power my phone and my cameras and it's surprisingly small and compact it's light but has this uh, cool uh, door uh, rubber cover and uh, has battery indication here and I can charge my phone five times or more and I can also charge my cameras my GoPro 10 and uh, RS360 This is the first the safe that I see here. Varla has a similar one, but it's just a pin coming down here. You can't take it out and the spring loaded, so it'll go back. Even if this gets uh, loose, let's say, we'll test it now. 
Let's see, it doesn't come out. It jiggles a little bit, so you know, okay, something is wrong here. You'll stop and you'll check it and you'll uh, tighten back up. So once you have this back in place, this thing is dead solid, no movement at all. And I like this, you know, safety here. Very compact, very minimal, and looks to be pretty reliable. In the dual mode, it's a beast. Once you shift to the single drive, from first speed to the third speed, it's bought a smooth. Intuitive, comfortable for any level of rider. This is by far the best scooter I've tried in the 2500 US dollars price range. It feels like a compact Nami I can lift with one hand. More enough power, more enough top speed, and more than enough range. Price lower than competition, and it's only 2,090 US dollars. I like the RS5 Plus more than Mantis GT Pro, Solar FF Lite. It's way better than Apollo Phantom V2, Varla Eagle Pro, V10 Plus on performance and features. I found RS5 Plus a more refined design, better price package with better integrated features overall, and I think this is the most attractive option today on the market. I placed the link down below, check it out, don't forget to smash that like button and share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon with upgrades on this model.